success. Welcome to the moon. Intuitive Machines is the first private company to land on the moon. Odysseus has found his new home. And the first U.S.-made lander to touch down on the lunar surface in more than 50 years. What a triumph. Tonight, we're eagerly awaiting those first pictures. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. Ginger is on assignment tonight. The Nova Sea Lander touched down on the moon at 623 tonight, and we have team coverage of this historic moment. New Six's Treasure Roberts is in Daytona Beach, where Embry-Riddle students celebrated because they designed an important piece of tech for the lander. But we're going to begin with Troy Campbell for the latest on some technical issues during the landing. Troy, we've got to know where are those pictures because we know the rule of Instagram. If there are no pictures, it doesn't exist. Well, Matt, late word tonight from Intuitive Machines. They're working on downlinking those first images right now, but they did just confirm that Odysseus landed upright and it is now starting to send data. What we can confirm without a doubt is our equipment is on the surface of the moon and we are transmitting. So congratulations, IM team. We'll see how much more we can get from that. Odysseus has landed an American-built craft on the surface of the moon for the first time since 1972. An excellent call from our mission director, Dr. Tim Crane. Crane. But before the landing, millions tuning in to a live broadcast, keeping up with its every move. For folks at home, we are listening in to the live channel there. That's right. A lot's happening in Nova Control. We're going to be hearing these status calls periodically as we follow the flight control teams that are monitoring Nova Sea's descent towards the lunar surface. A lot's happening, Josh. The private spacecraft making history as it plummeted 18 miles as part of its 10-minute engine burn. Confirm that looks like a pitch over gimbal. Then, nothing for about 10 minutes. Engineers looking visibly flustered while glued to their screens. We're not dead yet. <laughs> We're also not dead yet. Then they start using ground satellites from around the world to detect a signal. Finally, a scanner in the United Kingdom. We're picking up a signal from our high gain antenna and um, transmitter. It's faint, but it's there. So stand by, folks. We'll see what's happening here. Moments later, NASA Administrator and longtime Florida Senator Bill Nelson congratulating the mission that began on the Space Coast. From the launch pad at the Kennedy Space Center to the target of the south pole of the moon. Again, those images might take a while. They are traveling 250,000 miles. Of course, all the NASA experiments on board will help accomplish their larger mission of colonizing the moon. Matt. Waiting time, Troy Campbell, thank you. All that waiting certainly causing some anxiety at Emory Riddle. Their Eagle Camp took the pictures everyone is hoping to see. Our team coverage continues with News 6's Treasure Roberts in Daytona Beach. What we can confirm, without a doubt, is our equipment is on the surface of the moon, and we are transmitting. So, congratulations, I and team. A day that'll go down in history. Today, for the first time in more than a half century, the U.S. has returned to the moon. Yeah. Today, for the first time. And Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University students had a hand in the successful mission. So we got the confirmation that all of the hardware is on the moon. Everybody's jumping up and down and clapping, really excited. More than 200 students came to an Eagle Cam watch party Thursday. One of them was Aiden Fogelman, who said it was surreal to watch everything unfold. I'm ecstatic. You could say I'm uh, over the moon. Ah, I see what you did there. Not only was he supporting the Odysseus mission, but his peers who built the payload. I'm super proud of them. This is an amazing accomplishment. This is a replica of the Nova Sea lander. It gives you a good idea of what the Eagle Cam looks like on the actual lander. Once the Eagle Cam deployed onto the moon, its goal was to take pictures in the final 20 seconds of the lander's descent. For a moment, the watch party group was nervous, awaiting confirmation the lander actually touched down on the moon. Associate Professor of Aerospace Engineering at ERAU, Dr. Troy Henderson, says so was the student team. The team was all huddled together, you know, biting our nails and, and waiting, really anticipating that, that call out. But um, see, seeing it happen was great. I can't be any more proud of this team. Um, they've done some amazing work. Christopher Hayes is one of the lead engineers on the Eagle Cam team. And finally being able to be a part of a story that's been 52 years in the making um, is really, really an honor and a privilege. In Daytona Beach, Treasure Roberts getting results, New Six. 
For updates on the moon mission, subscribe to our Space Coast and Beyond newsletter. You can go to clickorlando.com newsletter.